Okay, so in this video, we're finally going to install our flight controller to our top plate of our drone. Here we have the Navio flight controller, and here is an upside down Raspberry Pi. Now there are two methods of fixing the Raspberry Pi Navio flight controller to the top plate. The first one is much more easy to do, but a little less stable. And the second method is the inverse. It is much more difficult to install, but much more stable when you have it. In this video, we're gonna be doing the first method, which is the easier method. And all you really need is your Navio, the various tools that come with the Navio kit, and some double-sided scotch super sticky tape. All right, now the first thing you're going to do is take your Raspberry Pi, and the Navio came with this, these tools here. Here we have our brass spacers, and below that we have the screws that go into it. Well, what we are going to do is take our Raspberry Pi and put these screws in the four holes that you're, you see here. These are for mounting. So we're gonna put these screws in like this. Okay, those screws are now in and they're all pointing up. So now what we're going to do is take these spacers and screw them into those screws. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. We have our screws on the bottom and the spacers on top. So we'll just tighten those down with a screwdriver. All right, now we have our Raspberry Pi installed with the brass spacers. Now what we can do is actually seat the Navio shield on top of the Raspberry Pi. But the first thing we'll have to do is take this set of uh, pin header extenders that also came with the Navio kit and put that on top of the Raspberry Pi. Very easy to do, you just pop them in there. There you go. And now, all we have to do is take our uh, Navio and press it down. Just press it down like that, and the spacers will make sure that the Navio is level, which is good. And now with these four screws here, we're gonna secure the top of the Navio now with the screws and that go into the other side of those brass spacers that we installed previously. All right, so now we have fixed our Navio to our Raspberry Pi. Now what we need to do is put the sticky tape on the bottom of the Raspberry Pi. Now be careful not to put sticky tape on the black chip here or covering the SD card. So we're just gonna cover sticky tape along this perimeter here. So I've already cut out a couple strips of this Scotch double-sided super sticky tape. So what we do is we just take the tape and just press down decently hard, not hard enough to break the Raspberry Pi obviously, but hard enough to where the, the sticky tape will adhere to the bottom. We'll just do that all along the perimeter so we get some good surface area. Okay, so now this side is super sticky, and I'm not going to do these two, but it's the same process. Just take the red layer off. Now what we need to do is get our plate, our top plate of our drone frame, and now with the sticky side of the tape exposed to the down side of the Raspberry Pi, we're going to carefully try and place our Raspberry Pi in the center of this plate. And now this doesn't have to be extremely precise. You don't want to waste, you know, hours and hours trying to get it right. But you want it to be as close to in the center as possible. The other goal we're going to try to achieve is make sure that our SD card slot is a little bit um, further out than the plate, as you can see here. So we don't want the north and south line of the Raspberry Pi to be exactly in the center because then we wouldn't be able to access 
our SD card very easily. But if we just, you know, move the Raspberry Pi back just a little bit, now we have access to our SD card and we can plug it in and take it out pretty easily. Okay, and then once you're confident with the placement of your Raspberry Pi and Navio on the top plate, now you're going to really kind of put some pressure on that to make sure that the sticky tape is really adhering to that bottom of the plate. Now you are ready to go to the next video. You have installed your Raspberry Pi to your drone frame.